Hey, what's going on everyone? I'm the OP Jellicent, and we're back here on Pokemon Showdown. I'm going to be building an OU team around Mega Houndoom, then I'll be hopping on the ladder to test out the team, and you can find the final iteration of the team after we make improvements during testing down below in the description if you do wish to try it out yourself. Let's take a look at the Mega Houndoom set that I have right here. We have Sucker Punch and three other attacks right here. I don't think Nasty Plot's are very useful. It certainly has its uses, for example, no coing type of with Sludge Bomb after Stealth Rocks is very nice, however, Sucker Punch is really cool. A lot of people forget that Mega Houndoom gets it, and they can just lose a weakened Pokemon that would otherwise be very threatening late game to this random priority right here. So ideally we can go ahead and see that scenario work out. Sludge Bomb is still here to wear down Tapu Fini. I plan on adding Pokemon that can take advantage of Tapu Fini being weakened, and then dual stab right here. Fire Blast is inaccurate. If I continuously miss, I'm gonna change it to Flamethrower, but we'll see. Obviously, just a standard EV spread of max special attack, max speed, minus defense, because I don't really think that we're going to be sponging many physical priority moves anyway. I don't think we're taking Shuriken, so it really doesn't matter which one do you minus, but we got four in attack right here for the Sucker Punch, and I think the best partner and probably what you have to have with Mega Houndoom is Latios. Now, Latios by itself isn't that great in the current OU meta, but when you look at Mega Houndoom's weaknesses, Stealth Rocks is obviously there, and then obviously we have Fighting, we have Ground, and we have Water. Latios does not care about any of that right here, so we're going to go ahead and run Max Special Attack, Max Speed with a Timid Nature right here. I think I will go ahead and put the 4 in Spidef, and then I'll go ahead and run probably Psyshock just to go ahead and maybe pressure Chansey for Houndoom if we can knock it off. Psyshock with the, with the Evilite on doesn't really do much anyway, but I could see myself adding a knockoff user. If I do not add a knockoff user, I'll make the Psychic and make sure I can deal with Chansey another way. But we're under cover right here, and then obviously Defog. Now the question is, do I go with Soldu or my Z-move right here? I think I might just want to leave it blank. Actually, no. I'm going to go with Soldu, and the reason being, as lame of a mana as it is, somebody in the comments has been really requesting to use Shift Gear McGee. And I do want to go ahead and deliver for that right here. I know we have three special attackers on the team right now, but we can always go ahead and add physical presence later right here. I just really want to make sure that I could deliver this guy their shift gear Megirna. Gonna go ahead and run a timid nature right here, and I'm actually gonna go ahead and leave the Megirna spread blank without shift gear right now, with shift gear and nothing else. And the reason is I actually want to see what weaknesses we have on the team, and I will build the Megirna set accordingly. So we're gonna go ahead and just put the four in spit F, I guess. It doesn't really matter. I think I will put Flur Cannon on here. I never run no Flur and Magirna, and we'll leave the Magirna spread right here. Depending on what Z move I want later, I'll go ahead and add that. And let's go ahead and build the rest of the team first. Now, like I said, we have three special attackers, which is not very great for us. We're mono walled by Chansey so far. We don't have the knockoff user that I wanted. How can I go ahead and take care of this is the question. We also don't really have any pivots on the team. Latios can go ahead and pivot into water moves, I guess, but... There isn't really many water types besides Keldeo that Latios actually wants to switch into. Toxbex can go ahead and wear us down with Toxic, and then obviously Greninja has Dark Step to go ahead and hit us, so... I actually think, I mean, Tapu Bulu looks great right here, just because it's able to go ahead and sponge Jash Greninja hits. So recovery is great for Megirna and Mega Houndoom, especially if we aren't able to get the rocks up off the field, because Mega Houndoom is going to get worn down by those. Let's go ahead and add Bulu, and I think I might actually make the Scarf Bulu, which I, I run quite often. I actually run Scarf Bulu more than on the other Bulu. I've been really liking it a lot more than the SD Protect set, but... I'm actually going to go ahead and do it right here again for speed control. It's able to pivot into Ash Greninja, as I said, and just act as a more sturdy water resist than Latios right here. Latios is mainly here for those fighting type attacks, as well as the ground immunity and the defog, and just the longevity with recover, obviously. This is more here for speed control and our primary water resist and rain check right here. So let's go ahead and run... I guess a spit F right here, it doesn't really matter. And I'll run Woodhammer. I guess we'll run Hornleech first. I like to do my moves in a certain order. I don't know if any of you can relate to that. I'll run Superpower here and then Stone Edge just to go ahead and catch Zard Y because after we do Mega Evolve and lose Flash Fire, Zard Y is actually an issue. I'm pretty sure Latios gets 2 wood KO'd by Fire Blast, so we really can't take advantage of that right here. And Stone Edge is vital. I like the speed control now. Do I think I have enough information to go ahead and complete the Magirna set yet is the question. I honestly don't think so. I do want to add my Stealth Rocker first, and Stealth Rocks are going to be great for pressuring for Bulu late game. Late game Bulu is going to be one of my better win cons right here. Shift Gear Megirna shall be our special win con. Scarf Bulu will be our physical one. What rocker would I take advantage of? Now, we have an offensive Magirna, meaning a Steel-type rocker could be great, because Magirna is not going to take on Specs Lele, Scarf Lele even. So I'm going to go ahead and want to add a Pokemon that can take advantage of that, and opposing setup Magirna right here, so... Obviously not Cortana, doesn't get rocks. Magnezone doesn't get rocks. What does get rocks? I guess it would have- Skarmory does not take on either of those, even with Spidaff Investment. I'm pretty sure it gets 2 KO'd by Thunderbolt from either, so... Let's look for something else right here. Jirachi could be cool, healing with support. 
I don't remember when was the last time I used Jirachi. It might have been recently, but Jirachi looks great right here. It would double up on Psychics. How weak, weak would that make me? I don't have a Ghost Resist, huh? No, I do. I have Houndoom. Houndoom is a Ghost Resist. Let's keep that in mind right here. We even have Sucker Punch to go ahead and pressure Ghost types that may be Scarf, like Gengar or the Clown. So I'm actually going to go ahead and add Jirachi to the team. I think Jirachi's weaknesses are already covered just with the build alone. So I think this could be very great for us. Let's go ahead and add Stealth Rocks right here. U-Turn. Iron Head and Healing Wish, and they actually have a new EV spread. I'm pretty sure it's still out Speed Skill Fable, but it's actually 88, and then like 168, I believe, is what they want me to do now. I don't remember exactly what the 168 speed F is for, but I know the 88 speed is for any Skill Fable variant. 168, and then like max HP. I guess actually what I'm going to do, let's make it 92, just so I have an odd HP stat. I don't see myself switching into Stealth Rocks that many times, but you never know. Let's go ahead and run a minus special attack nature right here. Leftovers for maximum longevity. So now we can actually counter opposing setup Magirna, which was otherwise a big threat against my team. Scarf Bulu does not outspeed after a shift gear or a trick room, so this is very helpful right here. In fact, I might make this 192.68. I don't actually know what the speed is for. What is called Fable Hit? I'm pretty sure it's for Clefable. I just want to double check though. Clef, there you go. Uh, Clef hits what? 156. Um, nobody runs offensive Clefable, so I guess it's just that fast, huh? Okay, never mind. Clefable is completely out of the picture. I don't know why I was considering that. It's actually, is it for Assault Dust Magirna? It might be for that. We're going to go ahead and stick with this for now, though. I think the Spidef is a lot more valuable than anything. We can go ahead and run Scarf here. This is our speed control. The Shut Up Magirna right here. What do I want to run? Do I run Fairy MZ? What would that help out with? Lando T, I guess, would be the one thing. Farium would help out against. I guess, what would my last mon be right here? I definitely have a Defogger and a Stealth Rocker right away. Honestly, I kind of just want to slap like Banded Lando or Banded Guard Jump onto this team. Banded Lando is so fun right here. It's a unique Lando spread, so it's definitely not going to be like the standard defensive or scarf that I usually slap on most teams. Hmm. What else could I run for physical presence? It's definitely going to be a physical attacker. Bulu is great, but even Jirachi with Iron Head is not very like promising, so let's go ahead and add. I think I do want to add Banded Lando. It would be a secondary ground immunity. Yeah, let's run that. I don't know why I thought that Jirachi was not going to outspeed Clefable. That was definitely interesting. <laughs> kind of knew it did. Let's run. This actually provides me with a Halucha check too, which is huge. Halucha is an issue in the print, for, at least to this team right here. We don't really have a thing to take on plus two. Landers can take a plus one acrobatics, assuming rocks aren't up. And then we can just go ahead and explode on it. So that's great. You can run Earthquake right here. U-turn. And I guess Stone Edge just to go ahead and Oko Torn. Why not? And then choice band Lando. I've run this thing a few times, not too often, and it is so fun just seeing how strong this thing is. We'll run max speed Jolly right here. I do run max Jolly on these. I mean, I guess not for random Rosary, just for opposing max speed Lando in certain scenarios. We want to be able to explode on that, obviously. And then I believe that's it, right? We just have to build the Magirna, right? That looks like it is. So let's go ahead and see what... I don't think we need Phytanium Z. Banded Lando's going to blow away Heatran and Ferrothorn. I'm just going to go ahead and run a Ferrium Z right here. And then I think I'll run... I, I, we need Focus Blast right here to pressure Ferrothorn and Heatran anyway. Despite the fact that Lando can pressure them because nothing else on the team really does at all. Mega Houndoom can pressure Ferrothorn but not Heatran. And we don't have HP Fire on the Latios for Ferrothorn. So yeah, Focus Blast is great coverage right here. And then... I mean, Landers provides coverage for Toxapex too. I think Thunderbolt could be worth it anyway. What would Ice Beam help out with? Let's go ahead and actually just find another team right here. Look through OU and see what's up. Ice Beam would help out against, I guess, Garchomp. We check Garchomp with Scarf Bulu and Lottie, so I'm going to go ahead and opt with Thunderbolt right here, and I think that will be the team. We have, I think, three physical attackers at the back of the team and three special attackers at the front of the team right here, so it should be interesting. I'm actually very much looking forward to seeing how the Banded Lando plus the uh, Mega Houndoom combo works out right here. You turn into our breakers should be nice, and let's go ahead and get right into the games. All right, I've got a game right here. My opponent is actually quite weak to Mega Houndoom, however, I think Azelf would be the rocker right here. I don't know what else it would run. Deontay could be the rocker right here, too and as well as a lead, kind of a tough lead scenario because I really want to go for the end game with Tapu Bulu, but I do have to pressure Kartana somehow and that's going to be very difficult in itself. Getting up rocks is going to be vital though. I'm going to lead Houndoom anticipating Azelf and the reason for that is I can always Dark Pulse flinch it and if they explode it's a double down. Honestly the double down would be a lot better for them. They do get their rocks up right here which is totally fine. I'm going to go for the Sucker Punch right here as I'm able to go ahead and get my first kill with Mega Houndoom. It's very safe to assume they clicked Explosion right there so... That's absolutely great for me. It looks like Shift Gear Magirna is actually just going to solo their team. I just realized that. Diancy comes in here. I could have just Sludge Bomb for damage in all honesty, but I think Jirachi is just an all-around safe pivot. It doesn't really help out against anything else. I guess maybe Leaf Blade Spam from Kart, but I'm not overly worried about that. They do go for the Earth Power, which is a really smart click. I do think that I'm going to get up my rocks here. 
So not Iron Head or get up rocks. Okay, this turn is actually big because I, I don't want them to go guard champ for free. I'm gonna Iron Head. They go Greninja, okay. Greninja is not actually that big of a deal. Actually, in fact, damage on this is great because now I can just safely Thunderbolt it instead of having to risk, obviously, Flare Cannon. I like the idea of getting up my rocks here. I don't see another way I'm gonna do it. Let's just go for Stealth Rocks. As they get up a spike and they're pretty, and okay, that's good to know. I'll go for the U-turn here as they're already spike stacking me. A little bit scary, for sure. I think I'll go Scarf Bulu just because it gets the longevity, and I actually think that they maybe lured to stay in right here. So let's just go for Horn Leech and knock them out. Nice. This is great for me. I'm actually doing really well early game, but this Kartana, which is about to hit the field, obviously, is going to kind of mess me up. Now, it could go for a Scarf knockoff here. I can't lose my Scarf. This thing is amazing. I think I just go Jirachi and sack that off. As they go for Leaf Blade, which is completely an understandable play. Let's just go for U-Turn. Plus one Scarf under terrain. <laughs> I'm just going to Calc because if Latios doesn't take that, I can't actually, you know, do anything about it. Um, choice Scarf under terrain against Latios. Let's make sure I put the terrain up there. OU Offensive. I'll take it, I think. Plus one. Eh, maybe not. That's not the terrain up. Why is that so strong, huh? All right, I gotta, get, I gotta get Intimidate off, don't I? Yeah, I have to get this Intimidate off first. It's either that or I go Magirna right now and try to go for the endgame with Bulu. I think that's my best play. I'm gonna go out into Magirna right here. This will live, I'm pretty sure. I go for the Twinkle Tackle right here. And then I think I just clean up with Scarf Bulu. So they do suck off their Dian Diancie right here. That's a really smart maneuver. I think their next option is going to be going Garchomp, obviously, right? Against Garchomp, all I really gotta do right here is Stan and Flare Cannon. As they sub. That's annoying, actually, because... Do I go Houndoom? I'll go Houndoom. And just Dark Pulse to break this. Nice, because what this allows me to do is get in my... What's my best play here? Bulu is not a bad play. But at the same time, neither is Lando. I think I keep Lando just because it takes on the card just fine. Yeah, I don't want to. I don't want to give them terrain again. Let's go. Let's go, Lando. There's no way they're getting terrain on me. Let's go for a Bandit Earthquake here. They Z. I'm in range of anything they might want to click right here. This is going to be an interesting end game, actually. This could. This could be nerve wracking. They bring out Cartana. I get to find out what exactly they want to lock themselves into. They opt to go for Smart Strike. I'm pretty sure Magirna can take one of these. I mean, I am offensive, Magirna. I'm aware, but this should eat, right? Maybe not. Maybe I just lost straight up. I'm pretty confident I live. Hmm. Maybe not, though. It's base 181 at plus 1. They do switch out. Okay, that's interesting. That changes things a bit. So, in that scenario... What do I think I do here? I'm gonna Thunderbolt. As they calm mind. Okay. Well, if they're calm mining, I'm gonna start shift gearing here. Do you have Taunt? I don't think they're Calm Mind Taunt. Alright, I see what I see what I gotta do. I go for the Shift Gear again. Let them knock me out. Get in Latios right here. Go for the Psy Shock, which should kill Tapufini. Because it hits on the physical side, right? And then, Kartana has to lock itself into Knock Off, and Bulu should be able to deal with that. And they go for Smart Strike, that won't be able to knock me out. Draco does hit, so they definitely- Did that knock me- actually not knock me out? If they- if they actually knocked me out, I might have- they might have choked the game away. Let's find out. I feel like it did. Yeah, they choked. Plus one Smart Strike knocks out Offensive Magirna. Meaning they definitely had the game right there, and they kind of threw. I definitely messed up too. Maybe I shouldn't have gone Lando initially, because that was one of my better Smart Strike checks. So we both messed up, and it just ended up working out for me. Not the smoothest one, but hey, a win's a win, and I'll be right back. Alright, this player has unfortunately got a few Houndoom counters being the Toxapex alongside the Heatran right here. I think that if it is set up Lottie, it could be Calm Mind Stored Power, meaning Houndoom could just easily hard wall that. It could easily have Ice Beam or Surf or Thunderbolt or something to hit Houndoom though. Just gotta keep that in mind right here. If I was HP Fire, Earthquake, Lottie right here, that would be amazing, but I have the more utility set, unfortunately. Let's go ahead and go for an endgame with... What's my best option? Like, Shift Gear Magirna can happen, but it requires Prediction and hitting Focus Blast, so ideally we can go ahead and avoid that. Banded Lando looks great right here as a breaker, but it requires Prediction as well. This is just going to be a very Prediction-oriented game the way I see it, but we're going to try to play around that first. I'm going to go Lottie here on the Lando. 
Could be Scarf for sure. I like the idea of just throwing off a Draco right away, but this is my defogger, and if I lose it, I'm just going to lose to T-Spikes, huh? I'm going to go for Draco. As they go Heatran. Damage on Heatran is great for Houndoom, so I'll take this. Now, here's the thing. I don't pivot into this. Um, I think it's... I, I'm very confident they go for Rocks. I'm going to go Lando. They go for Toxic. Okay, my Breaker is now on a timer, so we got to really capitalize here. They do not stay in here. I'm going to go for U-Turn. Their Lando opts to come in. Okay. I'm going to try to lure. Let's go Tapu Bulu here. And hope that... I don't think Woodhammer actually kills Fizz Def Lando, but... Let's see. It does not, and I take a ton of damage. But that thing is on... That thing's really weak now. That's in range of both my Lottie and my Houndoom. So that's great. This thing comes in. I think I just go Houndoom now. On the spike. Toxapex 100% comes in, right? I'm going to go Lando on the Toxapex, yeah. They have to bring this in. And... I mean, they know the- I'm gonna explode here, because, yeah, I figured they may make some stupid play and actually go ahead and stay in due to the terrain, and that allows me to just open up the door for my Houndoom now, so... Now Houndoom can just spam attacks the rest of the game. They stayed in because they could take the Earthquake due to the grassy terrain, but Band Explosion was able to catch that player, so... We have our opening now, and I was able to set it up quite nicely. That helps out Magirna a lot as well, so... I'm very happy about what's happening right here. Let's go ahead and bring out my... Houndoom could just come out if it wants to. I gotta play my Tapu Bulu smarter. I just realized Greninja is not something I want to lose to a late game. Yeah, not at all. Let's go ahead and bring out my... My Lottie. On the Lando, okay. I feel like I have no reason not to just Psy Shock. I don't want them to go hard grand. That would just be like a... a such a risky maneuver. Let's Draco. They go Ferrothorn and I miss. Uh, it doesn't really matter, I guess. Uh, is my Defogger? Yeah, this is my Defogger. I'm gonna go... I'm gonna go Jirachi. No, I, I gotta go Houndoom before the rocks go up. They do go for Leech Seed, which is smart, of course. Let's go ahead and switch out into Tapu Bulu here on the Heatran. And I'm gonna put myself in a bad spot against this Grand, but Heatran is something that I have trouble breaking with this team at this point, so I have to superpower. They go hard Lottie, but I get to keep this, okay. And actually, this could be my rocks opportunity, so let's try that here. Should I double superpower? Nah, it's not worth it. They just go for Ice Beam. Okay, this is nice. I love the fact that I have... Um, what's it called? The... Okay, there's the rocks. I have the Healing Wish support, which is great. So here what I can do is just go right for a Defog. As they go Ferrothorn. I always go... I always go Houndoom. On the Spike. Like, finally, I can actually throw off an attack with this. Nice. I'm gonna, it's going to be Dark Pulse, obviously. I have to pressure this Heatran right now. And this is my way of doing that. Doesn't do too much damage, but it's slowly getting worn down. Let's go Latios here. Ideally, they don't have Toxic. That would really help me out. They do have Toxic. Yikes. Okay. That means this is on a timer, too. Let's Defog here. Always get in Houndoom. On the Spike. I'm wearing down this thing, so I'll take it. They go hard Gren. Damage on Gren is great for me. Yeah, it's not gonna be the it's not gonna be the end game with Bulu. It's gonna be the end game with Magirna here. I can see that already. I gotta go Bulu here. That straight up kills, huh? I might have just lost. I'm pretty confident I just lost the game because that straight up kills. All right, well I have one play here, and it's going Jirachi, trying to get up my rocks, and then trying to go for an end game with my Magirna. With his Dark Pulse here. I think they'll finally give me this thing. No, they keep on going Heatran. Damage on Heatran is amazing. Let's just Dark Pulse it. As they continue Earth Powering. Alright, this is this is okay with me. I think. I go Lottie here. I go for the... The Psy Shock. Knock that out. Okay. Magirna can do this. Are they going to risk Hydro? Alright, well, they just sacked off that thing. Uh, do I just lose to Lando from this position? No, Jirachi can outspeed Lando. Because it's Fizz Def, right? Yeah. Just Iron Head them here. They break through right away. It's just my luck. Let's Iron Head again. I'd actually need to hope that I flinch this down, I think, to have a chance. Alright, there's that. Alright, we get rid of it. Good, good. That's great. I wish, I, honestly, um, I'm going to Healing Wish out here. 
they straight up knock me out. My play is shift gear. I go for the twinkle tackle here. And I think it comes down to me hitting focus blaster right here. This should kill. I did hit, and it does straight up knock it out. McGear now was able to do go ahead and do it late game. Definitely, I saw that that was going to involve the late game right here. I had to hit at least one focus blast. The Heatran definitely was a big misplay on their part, but hitting focus blast right there was huge. I definitely died to Gyre Ball. I don't really see a way I could have won that game without trying to hit focus blast, though. McGear now was really my best win con, so I'll take that. And I'll be right back. Alright, I've got another game right here. This player really does not switch into Houndoom Dark Pulse at all. I'm pretty sure Scarf Chomp can outspeed by Magirna after a shift gear, so it's gotta be careful about that. Regarding my best elite right here, Draco is also very spammable. That's something I noticed. Could have Pursuit on the Bisharp, don't wanna get careless. Let's go ahead and lead off with my... With my Lottie. On the Chomper. Hmm. <laughs> so they kind of have a um, decision right here. Do I have a play that- there's no way they Earthquake here, right? You either go Houndoom or you- I'm gonna go Bulu. They got a Brox. Okay, I could have just Draco'd them. <laughs> so confused. But I guess they could pivot to Scissor here. They decide to go Bisharp, which is fine. In fact, it looks like I knock out Bisharp with the next one. Nice, okay. Bulu comes through right there. That's gonna really free up my Draco Meteors. How did this come in? You're Scarf Protean. You have to be Scarf Protean. Yeah, there's no other way. I don't even think that killed me though, so that's why I was confused about it. Um, I see myself defogging, so I'm just gonna U-turn. As they get up a spike. I'll bring this thing out now. Just click Horn Leech. Honestly, don't see a reason not to do that. Like, Scissor coming out is the least of my worries, and also I've realized that this guy doesn't want to switch out after that turn one, so I'm trying to make sure that I don't fall for that ever again. Scissor comes out now. Are you going for game? Like, turn... what is this? No, you're not. Okay. Um, I wish I... I need to get these hazards off the field. Um, I'll use Jirachi as my pivot here on the Draco. Get my U-turn out of here. I'm really hoping that they go out into something that gives me my defog now. That would be cool. Um... I think my Scarfer is Lando, so I gotta be careful with my ground immunities. Do I go Houndoom and take all this damage here? I feel like it could be worth it, but in the long run, I don't think it's helpful. I can beat the the Lando due to Bulu, but I'm not gonna. I'm gonna go Houndoom. Yeah, let's make the Houndoom play. And Fire Blast is the most freest click I've ever clicked right here. I get a burn, which is kind of lame. Uh, I think this is Scarf based on how they've played it so far. I'll go Bulu here. As they go Lando, okay, Lando is annoying, but I could have just stayed in, huh, On, in Dark Pulse. I guess that's not Scarf. This is Scarf. Meaning they go for U-turn here. So I can just Horn Leech as they U-turn. Just maximize recovery, because I know Scissor's coming in anyway. <laughs> Might as well. This guy's not giving me an opportunity to defog, though. Why did Lottie come in? I guess to recover. Um, that looks like it might die. Well, they Psy shocked me. Um, I'm really ahead right now, though, so this is great for me. Uh, they have to go for game with scissors soon. Is this the way they're going to do it? I guess, yeah, now is the time for them to try. Let's bring this in. Click Earthquake. Do I just lose to Bullet Punch? Let's see what they click. Bullet Punch or not? I feel like I lost. The bullet punch. Yep, that knocks me out, and uh, I can't beat this, can I? They set up scissor perfectly. They never gave me the opportunity to defog, and they were able to weaken my Houndoom. I shouldn't have gone Houndoom the first time. That was where I messed up. Um, nothing lives, right? I guess we'll try you. I don't think you live. I need to spit after drop this, and then... Actually, I just need to hope it. It just straight up knocks me out. GG, man. I got completely blown away right there. I thought I was ahead that game, but... I guess Scissor was just able to come through the grassy terrain. My own grassy terrain messed me up, actually. Banded Lando might have been able to deal with that, but that's going to be that, and I'll be right back. All right, I've got another game right here. I got messed up by that Mega Scissor, but this team right here is very weak to Mega Houndoom, just clicking Dark Pulse. I want to catch the Gyarados before it Mega Evolves. That's definitely going to be big right here. Regarding lead matchup, they could lead Lycanroc right away. I think what I want to do against that is maybe lead off with Bulu here, as they actually lead Superior, so I can go Jirachi. Get up my rocks. As they go for glare, as every superior likes to click. I'm gonna go ahead and just get up my rocks right here. I'm not gonna check the DM until I'm off screen. 
Let's go ahead and U-turn as they defog. I'm gonna bring out my Lando here and just hope they mess up and stay on the Stone Edge. It'll Oko this. I'm pretty sure Bandit Stone Edge just straight up kills and they don't switch in. Wow. Why don't they? It's kind of ridiculous. This, this, this does kill, right? Maybe I should have calculated, but I'm pretty sure Fizz Def Zapdos dies to Bandit Stone Edge from Lando. Let's see, Serp can't take me on. In fact, every time Serp comes in, I just go back to... this. Just hit Lando, nice. Brings it all the way down to Sash. Endeavor comes out here. Uh, I'm not going to let this take the Endeavor, I don't think. I could. I have Healing Wish. I'm going to let it take the Endeavor. And I feel like they're going to I feel like they're going to go for rocks anyway. So let's go for the the stone edge here and go from there. I don't mind having this take the endeavor, but stealth rocks are not something I want them to get up for free. I'm able to hit both my edges, which is really nice right there. Let's see what they bring in next. Maybe Kiram, maybe Zapdos, maybe Heatran. They might know I'm banded based on all that damage. Uh, it's Mega Gyarados meaning Tapu Bulu should take it on. Yeah, they know I'm banded. Latios can come in here. This could be toxic. I feel like it is toxic based on this guy's team, but I want to defog as soon as possible. I also don't want to lose to that Serp, man. Um, let's see. They go for Magma Storm. I can defog these now. And their rocker, which it looks like that was their best rocker. This is probably what? Magma Storm Taunt? Something like that. Maybe I should have played as Latios smarter. Draco was actually spammable right here after I weakened this thing. That might have been my better way of going about this, but we'll see. Maybe I'll be fine anyway. Hmm. So I defog here. I, I just hope they don't go hard, sir, because then they're just banking on hacks to win, which I don't want to deal with. Yeah, don't go hard, sir, on my defog, because then you're going to get the evasion boost, and it literally just comes down to how many moves I can hit, which is never a fun time. They go cure him. Okay, this is probably their Scarf here. Let's go Jirachi. Now, they have to make a prediction. They can't necessarily safely Earth Power. I overpredicted. <laughs> I thought it was going to be their Scarf here. Is this Metronome? This could be Metronome. What's Iron Head here? I need the Sub gone, but I can easily do that with this. Nice, okay. They're gonna spam sub, I think, until my nice sub is... I'm just gonna Lottie and sack that to the sub. Lottie was good here, but... I don't think it's worth keeping anymore. It looks like whoever DM'd me decided to stop. Oh, never mind. Yeah, so lot. Actually, I guess I could just stand and spam it, but... If I get fully paralyzed at any point, I'm just sacking two mods to break this sub, and that sounds super lame. Let's just continue spamming Iron Head. They're going to go ahead and DC. I guess we'll just go ahead and wait it out since we're already this far into the battle, but I think if they're if they're to come back, my endgame is definitely going to be with Mega Houndoom. I just got to be really careful that they don't take advantage of Mega Houndoom with Mega Gyarados because the only thing I can hit that with is Sludge Bomb, and I would be relying on a Poison, so they do come back right here, which is great. Let's see. They, they're going to continue spamming Sub. Come on, Jirachi. Nope, it just gets fully paralyzed right away. I'm going to go Lottie here. Okay, nice. I got that right. I'll be able to break this and keep my, my Jirachi in the back. Okay, good, good. I like this scenario. Now, if I want to make my best overall play, it is actually Houndoom and I think Fire Blast. But I think they're going to be more lured by this, which is why I'm going to make this maneuver instead. Stone Edge kills and a 2 hit KO Zapdos. That's something I know. Let's just make sure it kills this, because Bulu without any boosting items is kind of bad. Bulu, Choice Scarf against Kiram, OU Subroost. Okay, it does kill it, and it will 2 it KO Zap. Come on, Bulu. This also prevents Zap from freely coming out after, which I really value. It also kind of catches Gyarados. Like, if I watch the superpower right here, reveal my Scarf, and then they... I guess they could go Gyarados anyway and just Mega Evolve, if they really want. You go Hard Heatran on potentially a superpower, okay. I mean, that's an understandable play. Heatran is kind of expendable, but at the same time, it's your Mega Houndoom check, man. It's kind of confusing. I'll go Jirachi here on maybe the Magma Storm. I don't really have a Magma Storm switch in anymore. That's the issue I'm facing right now. 
So let's go land our T here. I think what I want to do is... I think I just click Banded Stone Edge again every time. Yeah, hit Lando. Come on. This Lando is coming through with the Stone Edges right now. We prevent that defog right there. That is great. My Bulu is still alive for the Gyarados. That's amazing as well. I will always Woodhammer that Gyarados. Superior comes back here. I think I use Magirna for it. Sub Glare is really frustrating to play against, huh? Yeah, let's go Magirna. As this is the defogger. Okay, that's kind of interesting. Let's go for the Twinkle Tackle here. Maybe I can... Sh I don't want them glaring, though. For free. Let's go for the Twinkle Tackle. I could see them going Heatran, but I could also see them glaring for no reason. They go Heatran. This is good. Because now I get to Focus Blast. And if I hit this Focus Blast, that's amazing for Houndoom. Also, I think I just straight up win with Tapu Bulu, maybe. I wish I could get my rocks back up right here. I think that would guarantee a win, but my rocker is a little bit dead, unfortunately. Hmm. So what are we right now? 2-1? Yeah, I think we're 2-1. So if we win this one, we would go 3-1, which I would really like. This is like a really big threat against them. In fact, if I was to be fighting EMZ right here, that would mess them up, but... Unfortunately for myself, that is not my set. Yeah, if I was like Ice Beam, like just Bolt Beam with Fighting EMZ, that would be a win right here. But I do hit. I just straight up knock them out. Wow. <laughs> I, I got really lucky this game hitting all my Stone Edges and whatnot. That was definitely big. This can have a Twinkle Tackle. I guess it's Scarf. Okay. Is there a way I can guarantee a win? Yeah, there is. If Gyarados comes out, I go hard. If it's Ice Fang, though, that's bad. So I'm essentially at neutral speed right now. I think even if... They would have to Dragon Dance on two full pairs, I think, to win this game. I believe so. I don't think one is going to help them. If they go Kiram, I'm not staying in. Do I stay in anyway? No, I don't. I go... What would be my way of revenging that to guarantee the win here? I think all I would actually have to do is get Kiram in range of my... My Tapu Bulu and I'll be fine. So yeah, Magirna coming through with the Heatran. They were like fully offensive Heatran, clearly. That's the only explanation for that. There's no other way that falls over. I'm actually curious who's DMing me right now. They do go Gyarados, so they're going for it right here. I have to Thunderbolt. If they're Ice Fang, I'm pretty sure plus one Ice Fang knocks out offensive Bulu. And that would be such a bad way to lose. So let's just go ahead and Thunderbolt. Magirna, you are so nice. Kiram has to sub up on me. In fact, yeah, I just go hard Houndoom to pre prevent that from happening completely. And then I just superpower it with my... My Bulu. Kiram does not get Glare, fun fact. So that'll be able to do that. And then I just Dark Pulse again here. It'll be able to knock this out no matter what. And that'll be that. So definitely hitting my attacks right here definitely was the deciding factor right there. I was able to do that here and in the second game. So definitely very fortunate. And I'll be right back. All right, I've got another game right here. My opponent doesn't really switch into Banded Lando and my Mega Houndoom. However, I got to play my... I have to play my type of Bulu and my Lander is very smart right here. Let's go ahead and lead off with my Landers, I think against the Pelipper, and I think I just want to throw off a Banded Stone Edge right away. I feel like that might mess up and stay in, or maybe just go like Torn for no reason, and that would be very helpful right here. Yeah, you don't really switch into this, is what I'm noticing right here, so... You shouldn't go hard Swampert ever, and even damage on that would be good for me, so... That would be totally cool. Hmm. Alright, if Swampert comes in, I think I just go hard Bulu, because I don't really have another play against it. As good as Bulu is right here, I can try to use Lottie. They just stand and die to Stone Edge right away, so that's definitely very helpful. And they just get out of there. That's a game. I'll be right back. So this right here is going to be our actual last game. My opponent is very weak to Mega Houndoom. That last game just made me laugh. They're also very weak to Shift Gear Magirna. I have to keep Lando at full just so I don't lose to Lucha, so definitely want to make sure I can do that. I like the idea of leading off with something that doesn't just give Metachem a kill, aka Lottie. So I'm able to go do that right here. Just going to hit him up with a... Soul Dude Draco should be able to pick them off, I would imagine. AV Tang or Tapu Koko, I guess, would be their best pivots right here. This Medivolt... I'm gonna have to play offensively around the Medivolt turn, because... I can't just give Medi free kills every time. That's not smart. Yeah, they have to fake out. That's really their only option there. I think what I'm gonna do is Psy Shock, because it covers Tang, first of all. That's totally fine. I'm able to weaken Tang. It potentially gives me my rocks. I don't care about Jirachi getting status Or knocked off, sorry, not status. And this just allows me to get my rocks up. If this comes in, it is lure time right now. Helmet. 
do I assume they go for defog? I can't risk Lando, but I think I will anyway. I'm going to play offensively like I said I would. Yeah, because defog comes out. I'm trying to lure them into staying in right here on my banded stone edge, and I think this could work. Alright, come on. They do stay in. Really, I just lost a little halucha because of that. Maybe not. Maybe not. I can heal him with this back. Tangrowth comes in. Gets crit and takes 57. Okay, then. Yeah, I have to heal English this back to not lose to Lucha. I'm gonna Stone Edge again, though, in case it's a roll. I double- I mean, it's a high crit ratio move, but jeez. That's really lame. That's clearly banded, too. Tapu Koko comes in here. I think- yeah, I have to heal English, and it's gonna have to happen at some point soon. Let's go Tapu Bulu here. I think this invites in Kiram. Which, like, I don't really care about. Or I guess Medich- Come here. <laughs> Get out of there, Medichem. Uh, Zapdos can't really come in. This is great. Kieran Black comes in. Um, I think I, I should try to ship gear as soon as possible. And by as soon as possible, I mean right now. They're gonna sack their entire team just to lose to this, because they have to get in Halucha eventually, right? It can't SD on me. It's not happening. Yep, I'll live that. I literally just click Twinkle Tackle here. Knock this out. Then I go for this the thing against Coco. The the flare cannon knock that out. Halucha cannot beat me. It actually has to attack. I would never switch out right here, obviously. They should SD on a choke, but they decide not to do that, which just guarantees their L, I believe. Because this comes in right here. They have to crit acro. Well, okay. They, yeah, they just lose. They unfortunately tried to. I just go Dark Pulse here. And Houndoom will be able to go ahead and wrap it up. So actually, do we have time for another one? I actually think we do, so I'll be right back. All right, I've got another game right here. I actually think we've managed to go five and one now, which is great. The double crit sucked last time, especially if they had HP ice. However, I do think Shift Gear Magirna, plus just resetting their train with Bulu, might have been able to just wrap it up for me anyway right there. This time, it's a lot tougher because Mega Manectric is kind of something I struggle against. It kind of just invites in the, the Como with my Bulu check, so gotta be careful right here is basically what I'm saying. Um, there's immunity to my Sludge Bomb too, so don't want to blunder that. Let's go ahead and lead off with Latios. I don't see a reason not to throw off a Psyshock. If your specs Dazzling Gleam, I'll find out. That's a physical Coco, okay. What if they're a Savage Spin Out? Magirna comes in. Um, I don't- I'm not gonna Calc. I'm just gonna go off of what I think it is. They go for Ice Beam. I can just go ahead and use this as an opportunity to get up my- my rocks. I'm just going to ignore what just happened. Now they're giving me damage on the Magirna. This is a very interesting scenario. I'm going to U-turn this time. On the Lando T. Get in my... Honestly, my Bulu here. I feel like they may get lured into a false sense of security. Let's hit them up with a... Oh, they're, they're Scarf and Crit me, so I'm, just... I'm about to take a ton of recoil for no reason. Sad, but hey, you got to deal with it. I'm going to go out into this thing on that thing. Go for, I guess, this move. Get rid of one of their better win cons. Mm -hmm. I feel like they go back to Tapu Koko. But unfortunately, their terrain is going to go up, so not much I can do there. Yeah, Shift Gear Magirna is once again my endgame. It's always my endgame, right? That's the endgame in half of the OU games on the ladder. Shift Gear Magirna. Let's go ahead and go Jirachi, I guess. Yeah, they're definitely going Coco. Kind of want to play around at being physical. Well, I didn't do that, but I guess it's not the biggest deal because now I get to bring this in and just start clicking Horn Leech, which was kind of my goal. Okay, don't have Brave. They might have Brave Bird. I don't. Think I think I'll live it though, so I should be okay. I don't mind clouds coming in. Okay, come on. I got that nearly kills. They crit me with Brave Bird. I think I might have lived it. All right. Well, Magirna is my end game. Obviously, I have to do it soon. It's clearly a Salt Vest Magirna of theirs. I'll go Magirna here. Hmm. Yeah, I'll go Magirna here. On the, the Tapu Lele. Shift gear up here. Get my boost going. I think I can win with this, still. It's a Magirna. It can always win. It will always win. <laughs> I'm joking, obviously. Um, I can always check the Manectric with the Lottie. They go hard into their Magirna. I'll just start wearing this down with Tybolt. I'm a lot healthier than them. Their Iron Heads are doing a lot, don't get me wrong. Not enough, though. Yeah, I win. That wasn't enough.
I Thunderbolt here, I Z whatever comes in after, and then I Flare Cannon twice. And that looks good to me. Yeah, they, that's why I was so confused about why they let this Magirna take that one hit earlier. That one hit's gonna make the difference. I knock this out, and... Yeah, had they just switched that thing out, I would have been. they would have been fine. I always go for the Z here, knock that out. Hmm, I gotta be, um, careful. Land OT comes in. I could lose to Scarf Lele. I think Houndoom takes it. Well, I'll just hit to the left. That could be better for me, actually. In fact, I think that is better for me. So I Fleur Cannon here. Okay, never mind. I win, yeah. <laughs> um, clouds can't beat me. I guess that was Scarf. Had I hit red there, I'm pretty sure with the Soul Heart boost, I would have knocked out the... The other thing anyway so that's going to be that game i did hope you all enjoyed it was a seven in one session so very solid we definitely ended up somewhere significantly into the 1800s you can find this team down below in the description if you do wish to try it out and i will see you next time later